Hey guys, I'm back. So I wanted to do this video because um, I was chatting with my friend. Um, her channel name is Dolly Babe. And um, if you're not subscribed to her, I highly recommend it. Um, that is her channel name, Dolly Babe. She has um, Claire Taylor babies. Her, her babies are gorgeous. And she was actually chatting on her channel about something that I'm actually um, going through right now as well. It's um, what to do when you just have that urge to want to get a new doll. And you don't necessarily, it's not because you don't love the doll that you have. Because let me tell you, you all know, I love this baby. She is an amazing baby and I don't want to let her go. But I am getting that itch to want another baby. <laughs> and I go through this from time to time. This is something that is very common for me. I think it's common for us as collectors, especially when you've had a doll for any period of time. I think it, for me, um, it's the excitement of getting something new. And I explained this kind of in a comment on her on her video. And so I figured it'd be, it'd be great to kind of delve in a little bit more to what I mean by my response, but I'll explain to you guys what I do to try to counteract that angst or want to bring a new doll home. Because in the past, I have been very, <laughs> what's, what's the word I want to use? <laughs> I don't know. I act very quickly and I don't think about things or I don't think the decisions that I make through. So by Usually when I want a new doll, I end up finding a very, very high-end, very expensive silicone doll. And I have to sell the current one that I have in which to bring a new one home. Because I, I don't want to have too much money tied up and invested. Nor do I want to go into debt to have you know a doll in my collection type of thing. So I'm very careful about if a new one comes home, I usually generally sell one to get the new one to come home. And because I have made quick decisions thinking I'm going to love this new doll so much because I just want that new doll feeling. I want to remember what it's like to have a box opening because it's so exciting and the anxious, anxiousness and excitement of a new arrival that I hastily let go of a doll that I may, may miss, may regret selling <laughs> or parting with. And so I'm not going to change her, by the way. I'm just going to show you what she's wearing because she looks really sweet. Um, cause I just put this on her a few days ago, but, um, so I have regretted parting with dolls multiple times. It's not the first time. It's why for a while you'd see a lot of new dolls come and then you'd see the old ones come back. Um, and this is one, like I went through a period of time when I, it, I had gotten her before the doll show. There was a doll show a couple years ago that I went to. And when I got back, I felt very overwhelmed. There was a weird situation with the Romy doll that I had gotten at the show and I was really just disheartened by the way the doll community was reacting and treating people and I just I think it turned me off to dolls period so it made me literally want to sell everything that I had and that is not not that is not a normal feeling for me and hastily that's exactly what I did is I basically got rid of almost every single doll that I had in my collection and this baby was one that left me and I think that's kind of how it happened. It's how I, I just kind of quickly just parted with her. Someone offered me a very, very um, good amount of money for her. So I just said, sure, okay, and let her go. But as soon as I let her go, I knew I'd made a mistake because I missed her. But I just didn't even think about it at the time because I was just like, whatever, I don't care. I went through a period of time where I just acted like I just didn't even care about dolls, period. I won't lie. Um, and I think we all go through those periods of time due to situations in the doll collecting world, um, the doll community, when you have something going on and maybe some turmoil happening. I think that's what we, when we shut off our I don't care. We turn into that I don't care mode and then you'll part with dolls and then you realize later on that it was just in haste. Um, and that's usually what happens with me. But now fast forward, I've learned this about myself because usually when I... When I sell dolls, because I still brought new dolls home, even after I sold her, after I was, you know, like, I don't really care about the doll world, but I still wanted to have a doll, so I still brought other dolls home that I just wasn't as happy with. And that's kind of my general theme I've noticed with me. Um, so I always go back to Claire Taylor dolls as well, I've noticed, because I'm happiest with Claire Taylor dolls. I've had beautiful Romy dolls. I won't lie. I've had some really 
really beautiful Romy Stridum babies. I found that it um, has to be the right doll, it has to be the right expression, and um, I don't know. I haven't, I guess I just haven't come across one that makes me as happy as like the Claire Taylor babies, especially this one. And so for me, um, it's more about realizing what makes me happy and knowing that I'm content with her doesn't make, it doesn't take away that urge to want to still have that new baby doll feeling, especially when you see others getting several new dolls, especially like certain channels we love to watch. And I love and I'm happy for everybody that gets a doll, but it gives me that feeling like, oh my gosh, I want a new doll. <laughs> it rubs off on me because I haven't had a box opening and I don't even know how long because when I got her, I literally opened her box in the parking lot of the post office when I picked her up because I couldn't wait that long. Then I just needed to see her. Um, so I didn't do a box opening. So it's been a long time since I've actually done a box opening on my channel. And I kind of miss being able to do that. So I'm glad I'm getting a, a reborn. But I still have that urge to want another silicone baby. I won't lie. And what to do about it. So my suggestion to her was that a lot of times to kind of counteract that feeling so that I don't go out and buy another doll because trust me it's tempting to want to just go find another doll and buy one because there's enough, lord knows there's enough of them out there that you can find someone selling a doll and even someone that's not telling you they want you know outright saying I'm selling dolls if you find certain dolls <laughs> I have been known to message collectors and say hey if you ever want to part with the doll let me know and if the timing is right sometimes it works out great and they'll be like yeah well, I don't you know I was thinking about selling them or I will let you know, you know, type of thing. And sometimes it works out that it's just really good timing and I've gotten some nice dolls that way. But I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to <laughs> maintain my one doll right here. I've got a reborn that's going to be coming home in a few weeks. I, I just have to be patient because I will do a box opening when I get my new reborn. But it still is hard. So... What I like to do to kind of counteract that feeling is one, buying new clothes or outfits for the baby. That's one thing that I really, really find that helps There's something new. You're expecting something new for the baby. It may not be a doll, but you're expecting some new cute clothes or accessories or I find that um, I love getting embroidered things for her that have her name on it. Just like keepsake stuff that if she ever leaves me, she, they would go with her because they're special and unique to her. I love doing things like that. Also, doing something different in my nursery. You guys know that about a year ago or so, I decided to redo my whole nursery. The reason for that was that I had, I wanted to change it up. I wanted to feel fresh and new. And that was like one of the best things I could have done to really um, give me that new, exciting feeling because I got to take my time and really pick out the things, the special things and how I wanted this nursery to look. And if you, look at my old videos of what my old nursery looked like to now what it looks like it literally is a night and day difference because it's just not a doll room whereas before I just had so much shoved into this room and I just cleaned it all out picked and choose all the special things that I wanted to have in here and set it up like a real baby nursery not just a doll collecting room for me so that that was also a big way that I could you know bring something new and fresh and you know, every time I was getting in, you know, like I, I ordered different things like her new little, her little pod, like all of those things where I was so excited to get and put into the nursery and then putting it all together for me was such a great way to just refresh how I felt about my collection and my collecting. And even though at the time I only had one baby, there's a sparkle on her, it's so weird, um, I only had one baby at the time when I was doing this other than Amy, my Amy Webb. She never leaves. Um, but I had one silicone doll and I, that was happiness for me. And I'm so thrilled that I did take the time to really invest the, the energy and the time and the money into this nursery because it really did make it perfect for me. And so now I've done all of that stuff and I'm still itching to get a new baby. So good gracious guys, what do I do? I will probably end up buying another baby. That's, you know, ultimately if you if you do all those many things and you don't have something like planned ahead, like I know that um, Dolly Babe, her name is Chris, um, she is planning on going to the Florida show next year, doll show. 
And I think that's also a way to kind of save your money for and kind of potentially keep you from buying dolls because that's a good thing to save up money for is to potentially buy a doll at the doll show because then you can see the doll, you'll know what to expect, you know what you're buying when you're there and you can leave with a new baby. So that's a really great deterrent as well. I don't know if I have the patience for that because that would be a really long time to go without a, without a new doll. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really itching to bring one particular doll home so I'm kind of pondering how I can work it out that I can make that happen. And... We'll see, you know, I don't know if it'll work out or not, but I would love to have um, that particular silicone baby in my collection. So we'll see, guys. You just never know. But I do try to deter myself because, like I said, I don't want to be in debt because of doll collecting. I have a lot of expenses that I am paying for in my house, and we're still constantly renovating. This house is never going to be done, I swear. So there's a lot of money that goes into our house right now, and that's important um, above all and, and of course above doll collecting. So I have to kind of keep those things in perspective. And so I'm just kind of, I have a hard time just like everybody else. So I think all of us as collectors struggle and it is, it's not an envy thing when you see other people getting dolls on a regular basis. I think it's just that you want that feeling too. And it just makes you want to have the box opening. And I don't know, it's kind of like, oh, I want to do that too. I want to have <laughs> some dolls come into my doll nursery and have new babies to be excited for. I think it's just, we all love that feeling of expecting a new doll, expecting a new box opening. I don't know, I think it's really great. I think that's what actually keeps me fired up in the hobby as well. And I, I literally, I'm always looking for my favorite channels if they have box, box openings posted because I get so excited for them. Because I'm slightly living vicariously through them because I don't want to go buy a bunch of new dolls even though technically I could. I'm just trying to be really good about it and I know what makes me happy in the end and I don't, I just, I think that I'm just going to wait and hold out and see if I can make this one transaction work. Or this one potential baby to come home. Um, we'll see. But um, you have to do what's comfortable for you too. It's all about you know what you can spend. What you're comfortable having invested into your dolls. I mean some people have a lot more free funds to have a lot of high end dolls. I am just you know to the point in my life where I have other things that I really need to focus on. And so for me I have to keep it you know to one or maybe two really nice dolls, but I won't probably ever have more than that. Just because um, financially it's just not what would make me comfortable and I wouldn't enjoy it. Um, so that's kind of just learning how I am as a collector over, over the years. I just know my limit, if that makes sense. I don't know. But I hope this, you know, kind of enlightens people. I know we all go through it and how we deal with it is different. Every one of us does it differently. But this is kind of how I tend to deal with it, and hopefully it'll deter me. If not, I'll end up with a new baby, you guys, because <laughs> never say never. Things happen. You know how it is. We get tempted, um, and I don't know. I guess I'd rather have a doll than any other frivolous spending item. Like, I have a lot of nice jewelry. I have a lot of nice watches and things like that, but dolls really are the best, most fun purchase if I'm going to make a fun purchase. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> But anyways, guys, um, I've been rambling long enough. I hope that was um, an enjoyable discussion. I want to come back on and make a, do a live at some point in time, so I will try to figure out when that would be the best time to do that. But I hope you guys are all enjoying your Saturday. And Miss Lucy and I, which by the way, she's wearing a really, really sweet sleeper that is from Jimboree. It's one of my favorites. It's got little cute cats all over it. Still my favorite. It's an old one. But it looks so cute on her. So sorry I didn't tell you that in the beginning of the video. But I hope you all enjoy your day. And Lucy and I will see you all very soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.